Good morning, everyone. Today we're in Howard. We're at Advanced Cosmetic Solutions, and we're with Dr. Mark Duffy. He's an ophthalmologist and also a cosmetic facial surgeon. But today we're not talking about surgery. We're talking about some other options people have available, and we're going to start by talking about Botox and and what is Botox. Uh, Botox has become kind of a generic term, uh, like Coke or Xerox, I think, but. Uh, it uh, is a purified protein that we can use to treat uh, overactive muscles with and relax muscles and get some very nice results. Now when people hear Botox, I think a lot of people think immediately wrinkles and they, and they can help cure or eliminate wrinkles. Tell us a little bit more about the actual benefits of the Botox for wrinkles. Uh, Botox for wrinkles is wonderful. Any wrinkle that's made on your face or anywhere on the body, but particularly the face, that's made by a, an, a muscle action, we can relax it or eliminate it. Uh, there are some other treatments for Botox as well, including uncontrolled facial spasms? Uh, it was originally approved for people with uncontrolled facial spasms and muscle spasms elsewhere in the body, and it's very effective for that. helps them lead normal lives when they would otherwise have no other treatments. It also works very well for overactive sweating and recently been approved for chronic intractable migraine headaches. And, and how does that help the migraines? It uh, gives most people about a four-month interval of significantly reduced frequency and severity of migraines, and some people actually get complete relief for that period. Now, four months for the migraines, how often for, say, the, the sweating or the wrinkles, how often are we talking about Botox treatments for those? Sweating, interestingly, lasts a little bit longer, typically six to nine months for people with true overactive sweating. Um, the wrinkles, probably four to six months, everybody reacts a little differently to it. Now, are there side effects to using Botox? They're pretty limited and they're very temporary and it really has to do with the skill of the person doing the treatment. All right, now Botox, it's, it's applied or it, it's an injection, but people might be turned off because they're afraid of needles. Well, nobody likes a needle, I think, but um, <laughs> uh, we really have uh, evolved our techniques over the last 20 years or so of doing Botox. And currently, uh, we use a 32 gauge needle, which is very small, and most people don't even feel anything other than a, a mosquito bite or even less than that. And you see some dramatic results with these as well. Oh, very dramatic, yes. And does insurance uh, provide coverage for use of Botox? Well, it won't be covered for the cosmetic uses of Botox, but there, um, anything that's FDA approved, such as the facial spasms, the overactive sweating, or the migraine headaches is usually improved by insurance or Medicare. So there's a wide range of use for Botox. If people have more questions about Botox or your services, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can certainly go to the website, uh, advancedcosmeticsolutions.com, or give us a call for a personalized consultation. All right, check them out. Dr. Mark Duffy from Advanced Cosmetic Solutions.